in the span of the seven days since the release of watering waves i got 17,000 asteroid and today i'm gonna be showing you how i did it of course you need to do all the things gacha games normally have main quests side quests i'm not gonna be stating the obvious shit here since you're smart enough to search on fucking youtube we all know where to get asteroid for the standard way right so in this video i'm going to be showing you some tips and tricks on how to get asteroid in ways you don't typically have general knowledge of okay okay number one on our list is the synthesizer levels every time you synthesize you get a certain amount of proficiency and if you reach enough proficiency you get some asteroid there's five levels to this and it's not just asteroid you're getting you're also getting some items right here we're getting some level of materials that is one of the things that people often forget about let's just go to the other one the next one is gonna be chef levels very similar to synergy levels you get a proficiency every time you cook and every level of the proficiency you get some asteroid as well other than that you're also getting some recipes so if you you guys are massive collectors like in genshin on horror or honkai star rail you wanted to collect every single recipe in the game this is one of those things that you need to do every single level up gives you 50 asteroids so this is gonna be very important of course it also has level up materials right here so that's gonna be very helpful for you as well the third one that people often forget about is the skill training and basic training right here every time you get a new character or something you get a brand new challenge right here that you need to do to get 10 more asteroid for each character that you have it's basically just like trials but it has rewards it also has some level up materials some ascension materials for the character itself that you're trying to level up that you're trying out in the trial mode it's also a good way to learn how to play the character properly it shows you combos it shows you every single thing about the character of course there's still some hidden things here that you need to learn but this is a very good way to learn your brand new characters basic training as well this might just be one or two but they're probably gonna be adding a few more once they add a few more mechanics in the future dodge and outro skills you get 20 asteroid for each challenge right here that's gonna be very helpful if you're just one or two short from a single pull that's gonna be very good of course it also has some level up materials right here for your characters that's gonna be very very helpful the fourth tip that we have is of course exploration never forget your exploration most of your asteroid that you will get in the game is from exploration right now i have I haven't really 100%ed any of the regions right here. I have 73% here, 80% right here, 76, 73, 78, 64, 66, 81, 71, and 77. But if you want to check it, you could click on the compass right here, see which items you're missing, and get that. Right now, in the Gorgeous of Spirits, I have all the resonance beacons, all of the sonance caskets. I am missing some supply chests, and I haven't even gotten a single blob fly. This is a very, very helpful system so that you could track how many items you need in a specific region. Now, there's a specific item that's gonna be very helpful in this scenario, and it's gonna be the loot mapper. The loot mapper is a gadget that you get from this girl right here. After you reach a certain level of exploration you're gonna have the loot mapper as your very first reward so it's gonna be like less than 10 percent 20 percent exploration of the whole map once you get the loot mapper you could use it by holding tab and it's right there loot mapper you're gonna press t you're gonna have three charges every single charge you plant it on the ground and you see every chest that it's in that vicinity right now i don't have a chest but let's try to find one right there i found a chest literally in the wild that i haven't really completed yet that's a very very helpful thing to get keep in mind though that the loot mapper doesn't really track puzzles doesn't really track the running challenges the shooting challenges it only tracks chests okay let's get the chest right there however it also tracks the things like that like what is it what is this called tidal heritages it tracks tidal heritages so that's gonna be a very helpful thing for you when getting some asteroid now the final tip is gonna be the most annoying thing you're ever gonna be experiencing and if you are a hundred percenter then this is gonna be a help to finish but these what you see here are bob flies every single bob fly in the game gives you 10 asteroid however they run very fast and if they escape they're not gonna be respawning that quickly it's gonna be taking like a day or something i've experienced bob flies escaping and not showing up until the next day so be very careful when approaching them because when they see your presence or when they detect your presence they literally run around very quickly you can't shoot them that fast 
the best way to kill these things are with a pistol character like Chisia or Mortify. When you kill them, they give you 10 Asterite. Okay, um, that's going to be hell to finish. But that's going to be my tips and tricks on how to get Asterite for your account. Don't forget, we're doing a no pull account. That's why we have this much Asterite and this much pulls. So if you want to follow the journey, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace out.